John Tay with Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns. Am I the only person that does not like little dogs? That's all my dog wants. It's like for somebody to just pet her all day. Okay, so anyway, I'm going through another round of shouts out to another round. Another round of like tips, dying tips, right? So anyway, um, that's it. I um today is about validation. And the reason why I did that is because sometimes we get caught up in some stuff and it's like, damn, I don't even, did I validate myself? You know, is can you ever, like, skip validation park, validate parking, and then you got to go back into the building and then it's on the fifth floor just for them to put a stamp on that bitch? And it's like, we do that too. Like, it's like, we actually will go back to other people so they can validate us. And sometimes it's not their right to validate us. And sometimes we can't find them because some people just leave randomly because they did something and they can't validate you. Sometimes you need to be validated for healing or going through a process. And it's like not every time is somebody going to come back and validate you. So it would be e- so easy if you could just like kiss the ticket and push it into the machine. like, And it's like... It's validated. It has lit your lip prints or something. You know, hug the ticket. It's like, oh, it has your love on it. Let me validate it. So it's like we just forget sometimes to just like, how do we validate ourselves? And the other part of that is, it's like a lot of these times, if we don't validate ourselves, we get the feelings of anxiety. And that's why it's like, it's good to like kind of set that into your cognitive behavior therapy. And the reason why you put that into your cognitive behavior therapy is because you don't want to always have a long process of the anxiety because sometimes the anxiety itself is not valid. I know some people have it. Sometimes I'm like out on a date with somebody and he'll be like, oh, my God, I said that. And it's like he'll make you feel like it's something you shouldn't have said or, or the, the conversation would change, like it's something that shouldn't be said. And it's almost like it was, it should have been said. So you'll sit there and be like, oh my God, you know. And I remember I used to do this for two or three days. I just stew about it like just, what in the world? And that was it. So, yeah, validation is is necessary. It's a necessary component so that you are able to move on from situations like that because sometimes it's just not as horrible as you think it might be. It's probably just as it's probably just as good or it just doesn't matter. It's like we'll take the smallest things and need validation for it instead of us just moving on from it. So in order for us to get through this feeling, because all of us have it, we have to learn to validate ourselves. And, and the more you validate yourself, the better it gets for you. Not to say that sometimes I don't have anxiety attacks for saying something stupid. If I don't mention something, if I mention somebody on the show and I don't go back and do it, I get anxious about it. If if I replay the stories in my head and I feel like, oh, shit, that wasn't good enough, I get anxious about it. So it's always something. So that's it. So validation. It's normal to feel this way. It really is. That's my, the beginning of my stink. Is, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. It is normal to feel whatever things you feel because you could think, I'm talking too much. It's like, no, you're not talking too much. You're perfect. I'm not talking enough. No, you are okay. I didn't answer that question. You okay. It's going to be all right. My feelings are valid. Some people will try to make your feelings feel invalid. And that's the only reason you start to feel that too. Because sometimes like people grow up in homes where it's like perfectly safe and secure. But then if you go out with somebody and they didn't grow up in a home that was perfectly safe and secure... And you have feelings to t- talk about or discuss, and that person that leaves open for that, your next relationship, you may have a little that left too. You might feel like, oh, I can't tell them because this, that, and the other. And that's not true. You know, your feelings are still valid. And that's the thing. You still have to know that that's, what, that's a normal situation for a person to want to discuss and work that out. Because sometimes it won't even be a long discussion. And it's something quick that you can just, I don't feel good today. You know, I don't feel good today. So I don't want to go out in the rain. So then somebody could give you, so then the person that you love or who cares about you can give you a solution. Lay down and enjoy the movie, you know. And that's it. So what you're saying, I mean, so what is going on is your feelings are really valid. I'm proud of myself. That's good too. Please be proud of yourself. I know. They wanted me to stay in East St. Louis.
I'm proud of myself. So that's it. So this is hard. This is hard. What do I need to? What uh, what do I need to cope or feel better? So you got to figure that out too. So what would you need to do to cope or feel better? And that's what I'm saying. That's why you want to go through how you do you validate yourself. Like, do I take a bath? Do I listen to something? Do I talk to somebody? Do I do I start to cry? Do I run through the house or whatever? You just have to validate yourself. And that's it. And you have to know that it's you. Do not. This is what I was I was kind of just hearing. Like, it's just like, if somebody's like, we wanted you to know that you would never be anything or you won't go anywhere and all this different stuff. And it's like, is that really me that you're talking to? But anyway, the other part of that is, is that it's something, I think when you hear people tell these stories, you have to really listen. Because it's really something that you just have. It's not something that they can take away. It's not where somebody can sit down and make a choice for you. It's just something that you have. It's almost like they get the message. Like, it's like an actual message that's being transferred between you two. Like, this is who I am and this is who I present myself to be. And if that's the case, if that's who you are and that's who you present yourself to be, you don't have to be verified or anything. They already know and feel it. And so that's the whole thing. It's like nobody can tell you all the stuff that they think they want to tell you or how they're going to tell you or what you're not supposed to do or what you're never going to do. And it's like because that's the messed up part about it. All those people that have those that ask you to have all those qualifications, they actually don't know the feeling. They don't know the words and they never get the message. And that's why people try to tell you, well, this person is like this. It's not that they're horrible people. It's just they don't know the feeling, they don't know what it is, and they just don't get the message. And I know that's hard. I wish I could draw this out for you. So it's almost like I go in with these, maybe this is a, a card, you know what I'm saying, like a business card. I go in with this business card, and I got five business cards, and I got to give it out to the most important people I know, the people that can give me somewhere, right? Okay, so it's a guy in a coffee shop. And I pass him by, but I think he is like, I see something in him, right? And I'm the one with the talent, but I see something in this guy right now. I got the talent, and I'm trying to do what I got to do, and I see this guy. I give him a card. Not to call me, not to talk to me, just to kind of like, can I shape shift with you? Can I understand you? Can I get something, some idea of who you are? So now I got four cards, and I got to give four of these cards to other people that I think would be important to my life. So I like this guy because, you know, he in a coffee shop. He's doing math problems and he's studying and he's thinking and he's staying to himself. And when you walk by, he just, he smiles and says hi. And that's enough for me to give him a card. So then I walk down the street and I see a little girl going to school. And she says, oh, my God, you are so pretty. I'm like. Are you serious? I needed that at this moment because right now I'm still trying to figure out who are the important people that I need to give these cards to. And I give her one too. So now I got three cards left. So once I got three cards left, I go and I skip down the street and I see a guy and he's like in like sitting on a concrete meditating. Meditating? I meditate sometimes, but the difference is, is that when he meditates, he crosses his legs a different way. And he holds his hand above his head. Almost like a statue. And maybe one day I can come back and draw him. So I'm going to give him a card too. Now I got two cards left. And I still haven't got to this big office that tells me that these are the important people. Right? So then I'm like, damn. So I'm going to wait and get to the office and give it to two important people. So now I see a man outside and he picking up trash. And I say, man, that's so I'm going to stay here and help you. And he say, thank you. Because it really looked like you had somewhere to go. So we sit there and we sleep and I hold a dustpan or whatever and we put it in the trash. And I say, thank you, have a good day. And here's a card. If you want to keep one, they cute anyway. And he just puts it in his pocket. So now I got one more card. And I'm at the office. I'm at the steps. I'm at the desk or whatever. And the secretary says, you got something on your shirt. Let me get that off. And maybe you should fix your collar. I'm like, man, they got to call me back. But they probably got my resume. So I'm going to give my last card to her. The thing is that in those actions, you never know who is the person that's actually going to make the decision. Because people get bored with life. 
And sometimes it's better for them to use other people because they want to wear the clothes and they want to do the hair and they want to do everything they can. It's sort of like being a Farsworth Bentley, you know, for for P. Diddy. So, because they enjoy that, you can let them enjoy it. And because they like doing that, it's like, well, you look better. They might take your advice before they take mine. When really the person that had to make the decision was the little girl that I gave the card to. So at the end of the day, nobody even mattered. And one day, I'm going to have to talk to the janitor again because that was not the janitor. That was just actually one of the people that was in the office that I had to go to. And that day, he just wanted to wear some blue clothes because he just left a field trip with his kid. And so, when I get up there or when I talk to whoever I talk to, the decision is already made because I already talked to a person that you thought was on the ground floor. You see? And I had never even made it upstairs. So, people can actually tell you that you won't be anywhere, that you won't do anything, that you will be nothing. And the problem with that is, is they don't have the power and they don't have the card or the message. Now you understand what I'm saying? So, it's like, they can come by and say, can you give me one of those, give me one of those cards? They're not even important. And how would they even know I had the card in the first place? If they knew I had the card, why would they do that? So... That's it. So even if they don't want to tell me that I want to be there, I will be there. Whether you like it or not. And that's all I'm trying to tell y'all. It's not a game. It's not a question. It's not anything where you just feel like, where you could feel that way. Um, Nobody had the right to try to make a decision for me. At all. And the way that everything was set up for me was just awful. Like, it's like, I see that it's like a bunch, it's just a huge conundrum. It's a huge conundrum. In some situations, I get to make decisions. And in other situations, I don't. It was a huge conundrum. So, yeah. And thank you for that last message. Thank you. Okay. It's okay to cry. That's how you validate yourself. Because it actually is okay for you to cry. I don't want to cry. Don't want to cry. Nothing in the world could take us back. I used to love that song. That entire CD. Emotions by Mariah Carey. You're just like, what in the hell? Like, that was a blow away, wasn't it? So that's what make it, that's, that's like the whole validation thing. I love that. But that's when they started doing all the stories of everybody being homeless first and living in their car and all that stuff. But, yeah, that was a good one. Like, that was a good ass CD. So, but it is okay, okay to cry. Sit down and cry. Let the tears flow. I'm making progress. That's your self-validation. You are making progress. I gave it my best effort. You really did. You always do. And that's the whole thing, too. It's like you really sitting there like you didn't do the best job you could. And you did. You see, because I'm thinking about the time when I just took a pause in this video to think about what I was, what was going through my head. So, anyway, yeah. So, it's like, but I, that was my best effort. I am worthy. You are always worthy. And I see India already doing that, too, that. I am worthy. And it's like, it is because it takes time for you to really realize that as a person, that you are actually worthy of all these things. It took me a long time, too. I was actually just going through it. And I was like, damn, I mean, I did not feel like I was worthy of anything. And it takes time for you to feel that way, even though you were. Good jobs. You make sure you pat yourself on the back and everything like that. You are more than your accomplishments or failures. I mean, you are more than your accomplishments or failures. So, um, sometimes we get to a point where we were successful and it's like the success starts to take over or override who we are because it's like you want to be successful again. And because being successful is almost like a high because it means like you got the reward and that's not always the reward. The reward sometimes is the experience or being able to answer questions that somebody has or something like that. That's the reward. The reward it's all of those things. See? Um, everyone makes mistakes. Everybody makes a mistake. Everyone. Everyone makes mistakes. And that's why it's good to just say, that's just a mistake. So now we do, what do we do now? And that was good because they started teaching that in schools. Like, you made a mistake. That's it. My feelings matter. I will listen to what they are telling me, what they are telling me. And they do. That's called your intuition. Your intuition will tell you some real shit. Listen to it. 
it will hold you back too. So don't listen to it. I can't tell you how to do it, but it's a balance. Sometimes your intuition will tell you, this is not a good walk to take. And you go and take the walk, and you meet somebody that's very good for you. You, And that's all I'm saying. It's just sometimes intuition will tell you some good things, sometimes tell you some bad things. But you got to decide or decipher what it is. And I know people have to try it out. That could be part of what they call ESP or something like that. But it's, it's I don't know if that's it or not. But it's like your intuition just tells you. I trust my instincts. In gathering information about your intuition, you will learn to trust your instincts. And so you make the decisions on how you trust them and what you do to trust those instincts. Not everyone likes me, and that's okay. You ever seen that thing where it is like, this dude is like, you don't like me? You don't like me? <laughs> so yeah, if you don't like them, that's okay. Like, not everyone is going to like you. Especially if you really haven't done anything for them not, not to like you. That is some bullshit if you actually done something. If you came and pinching people and you messing up their ties and snapping their kids and shit, then they have every reason to not fucking like you. They just don't like you. And then, I don't know. Um, you Sometimes you need to curve. I think start off with that foot. I do curve. I curve. I don't curve if they like me. I just curve and I'm doing good things for strangers. Butterfly, uh-uh, that's old. Let me see that tussero. That tussero. Um, next, I like myself. <gasps> Please enjoy who you like. Please like yourself. It is one of the most wonderful things. It is one of the most wonderful things. I do a new show tomorrow, but yeah, not today. I got to cross this. And then I like blank about myself. Make sure that you like all the different things about yourself. Like, and sometimes it's just like what you do. Like, I have never liked my note. Y'all see how you can just see up my freaking note. Like, it is like, I actually want to just like kind of bend my nose down. And I always used to think I have a schnauzer. You know, I'm just like, this is a fucking schnauzer. But that's the thing. You see how it is? It's just like a, and I thought it was a pig nose. Like, you know, I was like, this is a pig pig's fucking nose and it's like I always have this issue but in the end I see my face and I'm just like I love my fucking nose I do um because it's mine it's unique from other black people like I have never seen somebody with the same nose as me so I'm like this is a schnauzer and I was hoping my son got a like a dominant gene with my nose and he didn't it's like recessive maybe it's like when he gets older it'll become this you see because he's not done growing but yeah it's like i always be like you can always see my fucking nose and i always got a damn booger like it's like how much fucking breathing am i doing for me to have that many boogers what's in the fucking air so yeah see and it made me talk like that because i got a schnauzer But, yeah. Okay, y'all. I think y'all have figured out every part of my body has a voice. And it has a different accent. And I'm so sorry about that. But if you can't get with it, you just have to. I think my vagina is the only part of my body that's pure. That's the only part of my body that does not have a fucking accent. Because that bitch has to be herself at all the fucking times. You see? That's what it is. But, yeah. I don't know. A schnauzer. That's a dog, but a schnauz. It don't even do stuff like other like other people know they like it'll curl or something. Or like it'll do like some kind of wrinkly something or whatever. I don't know. I just always liked it. And I didn't like it at first, but then I started to like it. Because for real, I feel like I kinda got a pig nose because you can see up this bitch. But now that I'm doing this. It's like a fucking skeleton, though. But now that I'm doing that, it's like, really, it's not a pig. It's just a nose that's open. You see? He got, his no- he got her nose open. No, that is not what I'm trying to reference at all. I really do have issues with my nose sometimes. And I'm so used to it now that I forgot about it. But now that I'm looking at it, it's coming back up. I got real problems. So cute.
Anyway, it's Shante. Have a good day. Remember, if you got five cards, you got a big opportunity. You got to give it to everybody. Everybody in your path because you never know who's going to make the final decision. That's it. That's why you treat everybody with respect and responsibility and all those different things. That's the responsibility that you have to respect other people. Okay? Have a good day. Eat some cheese or be a vegan. I don't know. Today I have no message. Validate yourself. Have a good day.